climb about as high as I can climb in here. Back there was where I uh, saw those two elk rubs. Just very few tracks between here and there. And uh, just now, up here at top, I found some old droppings, some old tracks. So it looks like this big, huge, long ridge. It's probably eight miles long. Um, they don't hang out up here. They may travel through a little bit, but they definitely don't live up here. So what I'm going to do is make a big, long loop and uh, try to figure out some place where they're hanging out a little more frequently. The way I generally scout is I'll pick a huge area, make a day of it, and just make a big, long loop trying to find where I think the major travel corridors would be. And uh, if the elk are living in an area, you'll find some trails that they use, um, trails that they make, and uh, it'll be real obvious when you find them. And I haven't found them today, so I'll keep looking. But uh, if nothing else, it's great hiking up here. It's just beautiful. You can probably see some of the mountain back behind me. Um, there's some real beautiful crags over there that I got a good look at down there. I'm going to peek over the top here and, and then just make a big loop and see what I can find. Elk season's, what, three weeks away. i got to pack my camp in in two weeks. And I still don't know where I'm going. So the, the search continues. Another weekend, another elk scouting trip. I've bushwhacked my way way back in here. I'm hour and a half to two hours in. No trails, of course. It seems like most of the good country, you just have to bush crash in. But uh, I haven't seen a lot of sign this morning, but I did just walk up on this rub right here. There's another little one over there. So there were elk here last year. Probably just a few of them though. I'm going to keep on up the trail and see if I can find them a little thicker back in. Um, good thing is there's huckleberries everywhere. Really thick this year. So I'll eat a few huckleberries and keep hiking. It's August 15th. Just hiked up Oh, about halfway to the top here from where I'm camped. You know, just peeking over the rise over here and glassing around a little bit. And I heard a bull just very low moan. Just barely hear him, but it was very clearly a bull. And with this being August 15th, I figure by the time September hits, he might be ready to rock. Give you an idea of what it looks like out here. Bulls right over there in that timber. Probably 300 yards away or so. What I'm doing is I'm looking for tracks, of course. But I'm actually looking for a place to camp. I scouted this last year. That ridge I showed you back there. The one I had to pop over get to go on the other side to find camp. Well this is the view from the top of that ridge. Gets a bit rugged back here. But I'm just now starting to see some elk sign. They've been crossing over right here at the top. And just before I crested the top I jumped for the biggest mule deer buck that I've seen in whew, six or seven years really overly wide deer make a rifle hunter cry well my second choice to try to find a place to camp is down there it's quite a bit farther from the trailhead but you guys got to have a place to camp or the hunting's not good and that looks semi promising See if there's actually water close to where I can pitch a tent down there. But it sure is pretty country out here.
Well, here's something that's always good to see when you're looking for elk. I'm way, way off trail. Fighting my way back up through a bunch of thickets and some steep stuff. Come across a couple elk beds and that one has just been peed in. I've boony crashed to the north. Ran into a main trail that's up here. This is a horse trail. And I found kind of a fun tree. Looks like this one goes back a ways. Serious potential to be a big bull. But I would not pass him up. Just crested the rise. I've been climbing all the way here. I took one step over the rise down into the valley where I think I might be able to camp. And I saw him standing there. Still a little out of breath from coming up the hill. Man, I'd almost given up on finding water down here. This is a little spring right where it comes out of the mountain. And it's way below where the map shows water. It's quite a, bit, quite a bit farther down here than I thought. It's just a little tiny seep. What I'm going to do is build a little dam right there. Deepen up a little pond, then I'll have a plastic PVC pipe laid across the top of it. I'll dig a deeper hole right down there where I can stick a five gallon bucket and we'll let the pipe fill up the bucket. We'll have running water. The little spring turned out pretty good. Right now it's a bit muddy because I've been digging around there, but you can see the dam I built. Dug out quite a little pond in front of it. And right there is where the water comes right out of the mountain, crystal clear. Flow down here and when all that mud settles, that'll be crystal clear as well. I have a little pipe on the left side of the dam there, PVC pipe, and uh, put a bucket right down there. Pipe will run right into the bucket when we want to fill it up. Have good drinking water. 